announcement because from prisoners to princesses, getting inked is seeping into the mainstream culture and continues to be popular with most uh, Brits, sorry, Brits the most tattooed in Europe. Uh, we sent Louise Hullen to find out why the trend for tattooing is becoming more popular than ever. Tattoos were once a trend enjoyed by bikers and sailors, but not anymore, with one-fifth of the British adult population getting inked up. In history, tattoos can be traced back centuries. Otto the Iceman lived some 5,700 years ago, and scientists found 47 carbon tattoos on his body. When explorer James Cook returned from his travels, he talked to the Polynesian islanders' spectacular inks, known as Tatau. By the late 1800s, 90% of the Navy had tattoos. It continues today, with celebrities such as David Beckham expressing how he feels through tattoos. I'm here at Woody's Tattoo Studio in High Wycombe. This is Woody. He's been tattooing for over 20 years and has 20 tattoos himself. I never realised that tattooing was such an art form. Have you always been artistic or and creative, or did the tattoos come first? I think I was very much into creativity and art all the way back as far as I can remember. Why are so many people getting tattoos now? I think people are screaming out for something for their soul now in uh, what was effectively potentially quite a soulless world. Um, everybody wants to now start to get back to looking at their, their own creative side. You've been doing this for over 20 years. Have you noticed a change of clientele in that time? The clientele now is much more free to pick and choose the kind of work that they would like to have. Uh, 20 years ago, people tended to have smaller tattoos. These days, they are wading straight in with the bigger stuff. Samuel O'Reilly patented the modern twin coil electromagnetic tattoo needle in 1891 in New York. With two coils of wire wrapped around an iron core, two points and a bar across the top, it plunges down when power is applied to the coils, breaking the circuit. It then springs back up again to recommence the cycle. Kind of like a sewing machine, if you like. Ooh. So, Ursula, I take it you've just walked in off the street today to have a tattoo, is that right? Yeah, that's right. So, what are you having done and what inspired you to have it done? Um, I'm actually having a butterfly, um, okay. but it's to cover up a tattoo of a guy's name, so... <gasps> I want to know what people think about tattoos outside of the confines of a tattoo studio, so I'm going to hit the streets to find out. Have you got any tattoos yourself? Yes, two. What are they of? A uh, West Ham badge and a maggot. Why do you have a maggot? I don't know, it's something I did when I was 16. Stupid thing, really. I have a little circle on the bottom of my back, which I had done, I think, when I was about 25. I think they look nice. Do they? But I don't, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> I wouldn't have it done. No, nor would I. For everyone who loves their tattoo, there are always some that don't. In fact, 23% of British adults say they now regret their tattoo. Sharon performs laser removal here at the studio. How long does the process take? It's multiple sessions. If they're fading for a cover-up, it might be sort of five to eight sessions. If the complete removal can be anything from eight to 15. Is it more painful to get a tattoo removed than having the actual tattoo itself? The, the process hurts. It's about 10 times more painful is what most people will tell you. It, they don't enjoy it at all. So the message is then, make sure you're really sure before you get a tattoo. Yes. <laughs> Well, love them or hate them, tattoos are definitely here to stay. And uh, I've decided to join the gang and get inked up myself. Sorry, Mum. Eventually, I'm going to get all the reporters tattooed through the whole series. Uh, thank you very much, Louise. Rest assured, Louise's mum, it wasn't a real tattoo. It's a transfer. And remember, no one under 18 can get a tattoo, even if you do have your parents' permission. Uh, but I know what you're waiting for. It's Richard's tattoos. Uh, reveal all, Richard. Where are they? I've got... One here, mm. one here, one on my back, and I'm sat on the fourth. OK, we're not going to see that one. Um, I think we've got a picture, actually. Uh, you not, of the, not of the one I'm not sat the one on. <laughs> no. uh, that one, obviously, is on your left arm. What's that one? That's just a, a Celtic tribal design, is that? I'd like to tell you that there's a really fascinating story behind <laughs> it, but there isn't. You there just isn't. thought it was pretty. There's, there's a good story behind this one. I got this one when I was 18. I was in the army at the time. I came home on leave. I had the tattooed on, but I was scared to death of telling my mother. So for three years, I'd run in the house, put a jumper on, sit there, the central heating on full blast, sweating. <laughs> and then eventually I thought, enough's enough. So I told my mother, I sat down, I said, listen, I've got a tattoo on this arm. And she says, I know you've got a tattoo on that arm. I saw you the day you had it done, going through town, showing off to your friends. And 
my only regret is that you've told me now because I've enjoyed so much watching you put your jumpers on. <laughs> Coming into the house, trying to hide it from me. She's a good mum. And listen, mum, if you're watching, I've got a confession because I also have a tattoo. Had it on my ankle uh, a while ago. Can you see there on camera two? Not really! It's a pair of tights. Um, <laughs> my mum would have just fainted at that moment. <laughs>